how to add Instagram feeds to your website in WordPress. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add an Instagram feed into your WordPress site. Now we all know how effective it is to display your product in use. So if you have any type of business Instagram and you're trying to display your feed within WordPress, this can serve as a great promotion for your product, for your brand, and or, or for your services. And you can do this really simply and easily with a plugin on WordPress. So let's get started. Now to do this, we're going to head on over to our WordPress dashboard. And another thing to note is that you don't want to randomly add any of your random galleries off of Instagram. Make sure that whatever you're posting on Instagram should be cohesive to your WordPress site and then include the social feed. If your Instagram is all about your personal life, whereas your um, WordPress site is about your photography portfolio, then having it displayed is not going to serve you any purpose. So just keep that in mind when you're including an Instagram feed. So we're going to head on over into our WordPress dashboard. And from here, you're going to click on plugins on the bottom left. Once you click on plugins on the bottom left, click on add new plugin. Once you click on add new plugin, you're going to search for social feed and there are several different plugins available that allow you to embed your social media feeds into your WordPress site. You have Smash Balloon, Social Feed Gallery, Smash Balloon, Social Feed Post, Embed Press and many more tools available. I'm going to be using Social Feed Gallery, which was previously just known as Instagram Feed. This is specifically made for Instagram Feed, so I personally like to use this. Smash Balloon is also a great tool. So you can choose either one of these. Let's proceed with Smash Balloon over here. So you're just going to click on install now and it only takes a couple of seconds for the installation to be completed. Once your installation is completed, you're going to click on activate. And once you have clicked on activate, this will uh, complete the setup for your add-on. Now we have now downloaded Instagram feed by Smash Balloon onto our WordPress site. So you're going to click on launch the setup wizard and you're going to connect your Instagram account. Now I have logged on to my Instagram account on the same browser. So it's going to be easier like so. So you can just click on add new. And once you click on add new, it's going to ask you the type of account you're using. So have you connected in a Facebook account using this plugin before? You're going to link to your Facebook account. You can just connect via Instagram like this and just click on connect with Instagram. Now this will open up Instagram and it will ask you if you would like to allow Social Balloon to access Instagram. You're just going to allow that over here. And we're going to move towards the next step of our authorization. So this is my domain. Yes, this is my domain. And after that, it's going to take our feed and proceed with our setup. So you guys can see now it's showing my Instagram account. I can click on next. Now I can configure its features. So create and display Instagram feeds, downtime prevention, image optimization, social feed collection. So I can install Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. I don't need this, so I can turn this off. But if you do want to include other streams, you can add those as well. Then we also have a customer review plugin. I also don't need that, so I'm going to turn it off. And then after that, we are going to click on next. Once we do that, we are going to uncheck these because these are just add-ons that it is asking whether or not you would like to use. Click on install selected plugins. And from here, you're just going to click on complete setup without upgrading. And once you do that, your setup is going to be completed. Now, once we have completed our basic connection, we're going to proceed with adding our feed. So click on add new 
and you can choose the type of feed if you want more premium features you can go with public hashtags tag posts social walls but i just want to add a user timeline click on next and we're going to choose our instagram account which is gleaming girly and then click on next once you click on next over here this will lead you to your all feed section and you're now embedding your feed and this is what it looks like we can customize this as well so you can click on feed layouts you can choose the feed height the padding you're adding the number of posts so i want to display let's say 10 posts and the columns so let's say i only want to display three over here or let's say what yeah instagram does three so i'm going, going to display three and after that we have our feed height we also have the color scheme if i want it to be light dark or customized i'm going to go with the inherent color scheme and after that we can customize the header if you want you can also choose to remove it you can customize the images and videos to detect the resolution and you can include posts load more buttons follow buttons and light box buttons so i am going to change the color for the follow button to be more in line with instagram colors as well i'm just going to go with a darker version of pink and a lighter version of pink and once i've done that i'm gonna click on save on the top right now that i can see what my feed is going to look like i'm going to click on embed and copy this and once i do that i can just open up my wordpress site like so and then just click on edit page and once you click on edit page you don't need any fancy wordpress editors for this you can use your standard default wordpress editor click on the plus icon on the top left and search for short code once you search for shortcode, it will add a shortcode section at the bottom and you're going to paste in the code over here. Then I'm just going to hold this and I'll bring this to the top so we can easily see what our feed looks like in effect. And I'm just going to remove some of the other things that I've added. So our feed is the highlight and then click on save. Once you click on save on the top right, you can click on the view page icon. And now your Instagram feed should be visible on your WordPress site. So you guys can see currently it's loading up. You guys can see our feed has loaded up and then below that we have our site as usual. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.